Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to come into the house of the Lord. Good to be coming to you by the way of radio and television and tell you today that God loves you. We'd like to welcome you to our broadcast. Welcome our new listeners and our new viewers. If you've never watched this program or heard this program before on the radio, welcome. Praise God. We're located right here in, in Kiwi, Kentucky at 968 West City Dam Road. And we'd like to welcome everyone that will to tune in even to you could come to our facility and view our broadcast you could be with us if you like we would like to welcome you and God welcomes you most of all God welcomes you and you will hear the word of God that's brought to you by the Holy Spirit praise God his inspired word of God I tell you what he's a, he is a good God and he is surely worth serving today you know what if I didn't know the Lord, I sure would want to find out about him because he is a good God and he is surely, surely worth living for. Because you know what? He died for you. He died for you and he is worth giving our life for. Died, paid for the sins of the whole world, hung on a cross, was beaten and mangled, his body torn beyond recognition. The Bible says his visage was marred more than any man. He didn't even look like a man. Just think about it. You know, movies has tried to depict how severe the punishment was and how severe that his body was beaten and mangled and torn. But you know what? They haven't even touched the surface of how bad it was and what a, what a price he paid. <clears throat> For someone's visage to be marred more than any man, he didn't, he didn't even resemble a man. He resembled a piece of bloody meat. <clears throat> and pardon my words... But it's the truth. What a price. What a price that he paid for us. And don't you think if, if he loved us so much, you know, he said, no man, take my life from me. I willingly lay my life down. He could have called legions and legions of angels. To come to his rescue. But you know he chose not to. For you and I. For you and I. What a great love. And then to have the Father. Father God. Turn his back because he, he couldn't look upon sin turn his back on him you know what he called him father all through the new testament he said I do what my father tells me to do and I say what he tells me to say but hanging on that cross he called his father his God he said my God my God why have you forsaken me just to think <clears throat> and think how hurt that the father was and how he didn't want to see his only begotten son the son of his love the most precious thing to him in the world he gave for us would you give your son or your daughter for a bunch of people that despised him that spit on him that beat him that rejected that rejected him, would you give your son or your daughter for those people so that they could be saved and have eternal life? Our Father did. Our Father God gave his son. And all the suffering that Jesus did for us. 
and to think that we would go on in our daily lives and just take him lightly and take what he done lightly and is a really a real injustice to him. God says in his word that those that honor me I will honor and those that despise me I will lightly esteem those that despise me. You say, well, I don't despise him. I don't even know him. We're telling you about him right now. By rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ and what he done on the cross, you're automatically despising him because you are falling after the devil. You might not agree with that, but it's the truth. Pick up your Bible and read it. 